When Mojo Nixon and Skid Row burst upon the music scene last year with their self-titled debut album, no one could have predicted the groundswell of enthusiasm that greeted them. I was among the admirers, and when I heard that Mojo and Skid were touring for their second album, Frenzy, my associate Beth Yates and I decided that this would be a unique opportunity to record the making of a rock and roll legend. We wanted to catch the spontaneity, the excitement, and the overall good hygiene that make Mojo and Skid what they are today. So what do you say? Enough talk. Let's rock and roll. think of a few shows where no matter how old or conservative or different or cowboyish or new rock or new wave hairdos, you know, and, and no matter how yuppified or black or white or blue or Mexican, motorcycle gangs or middle-aged people, we played in front of all those guys to be one time or the other. I got them one way or the other. <laughs> I mean, it might take 30 minutes of talking about this, that, and whatnot, and uh, finally I'll hit something that'll hit their funny bone, you know. Yeah. And I'll, they'll kind of loosen up, you know, and... Yeah. <clears throat> One thing leads to another. <laughs> now right here tonight, me and Skid Row don't have the Bigfoot Choir with us. So at this time, like Sheriff Andy Taylor deputizing Otis the Trunk, I'm going to deputize you people out there into the Holy Alliance of the Bigfoot Choir. Everybody raise their uh, was it left hand. Everybody raise their left hand. Raise it up high. And then make a noise like a Bigfoot. I think there's an educational, social commentary in what he's doing, and I think there's some depth in terms of whether you call it something related to religion or not. Uh, very often satire can be the most meaningful statement of whatever it is you're trying to talk about. had this idea for the marching trash can band. So you used to have to dump these trash cans at work and I'd be carrying them and I'd kind of beat on them. I kind of envisioned this whole group of people marching in a Christmas parade, you know, humming, you know. And then beating on the trash cans. I think it's kind of the idea evolved from that. I'm living in a shack down by the tracks. I'm a bush root. Maniac, ain't got no car, ain't got no home. Drink all day.
Just kind of a primitive jungle, you know, stream of unconsciousness, you know, uh, kind of click, you kind of click in on this, you know, collective subconsciousness of the whole race, you know. <laughs> Back when everybody was doing them dances around fires, boom, like a, like a, like a, boom, like a, like a, like a, boom, you know. <laughs> Put your hand.